sums very quickly. We're going to do three sums as fast as we can. But first, what we have done so far, we have talked about the basic identities, the basic identities are sine theta by cos theta is identical to tan theta then sine square x plus cos square x is 1 from which we get 2 more which we get cos square x is 1 minus sine square x and sine square x is 1 minus cos square x of course sine square is getting in terms of cos square cos square getting in terms of sine square so this is something very handy but we might also want to use sine square and cos square in terms of other there's another identity we'll talk about that later on the next one we talked about is the reciprocal identities reciprocal identities so these are 1 by sin x is cosec x 1 by cos x is sec x and 1 by tan x is cotex. One thing that must be mentioned is that since tan x is sin x by cos x and 1 by tan x is cotex, so we can call the reciprocal to be cos x by sin x. And we have some uh, additional identities, some additional identities and they are tan square x plus 1 is identical to sec square x and cot square x plus 1 is identical to cosec square x of course these can be rearranged we can say tan square x is sec square x minus 1 and cot square x is cosec square is minus 1 this can also be said so these are the identities that we have talked about and we have also talked about two things that we have proved which is sine to a sine to x is identical to 2 sin x cos x which means that sin 4x can be written as 2 sin 2x cos 2x as if double angle half angle if this is 4x this is 2x if this is sin 10x then this would be 2 sin 5x cos 5x double angle half angle this is what it means and we have seen cos 2x which can be written as cos square x minus sin square x but we use most of the time the other two versions which is 1 minus 2 sin square x and the other version is 2 cos square x minus 1 so this is what we have seen so far now let's do a sum now let's scroll down the first thing that we can do is a very common sum it's first this is given sine a plus b the sum of angles is given and cos a plus b the sum of angles of cosine is also given so this information is given so what we have to do here is we have to find the expression for cos 2 theta in terms of cos square theta so which we have already done so let's start with a so we'll start with left hand side so which is cos 2 theta means cos theta plus theta and this is we know the identity it is cos cos minus sine sine so we will write cos theta cos theta minus sine theta sine theta and again we can write from here cos square theta again this is not cos theta square it is cos square theta minus sine square theta of course we have to express this in terms of cos square theta so we have to uh, find an identity of sine square theta and we had seen before the identity for sine square theta is 1 minus cos square theta this one sine square theta is identical to 1 minus cos square theta part of the basic identity so we can write cos square theta minus we have to group a bracket that is very important minus 1 minus cos square theta so we get cos square theta minus 1 minus into minus is plus cos square theta so this would be 2 cos square theta minus 1 so therefore it has been expressed so there is no left hand or right hand so we don't have to write left hand side equal to right hand side this is what I have to prove now the next one write on an expression for sine 2 theta in terms of sine theta and cos theta so another of those common sums so we can write the left hand side 
is sine 2 theta which is theta plus theta and we know that sine 2 theta or theta plus theta is sine a cos b plus cos a sine b so this is going to be sine theta cos theta plus cos theta sine theta of course it's the same thing sine cos or cos sine they're the same thing so if we add it it'll become 2 sine theta cos theta so this is also expressed as sine theta and cos theta now number c is the new one here number c they have to uh, we have to prove that cos 3 theta in terms of cos that's what we have to do cos 3 theta has to be expressed in terms of cos so let's do number 3 so here the first thing that we have to do so let's write left hand side cos 3 theta this 3 theta since in the previous sum we have done cos 2 theta and sine 2 theta so we can write cos 3 theta as theta plus 2 theta so in that case we can write from the identity of cos a plus b from this identity cos a plus b cos cos minus sine sine so from that identity we can write that so let's write cos theta cos 2 theta minus sine theta sine 2 theta so cos cos minus sine sine now notice that we cannot just multiply these two and write cos square because the angles are different so it means they are completely different creatures you have to consider cos theta as one entity and cos 2 theta is another entity so the answer that we have to express every angle is theta so we have to break cos 2 theta into theta and for that we have the previous sum where we have written cos 2 theta as 2 cos square theta minus 1 so let's take he help of the previous sum so cos theta would be the same let me give a bracket here and cos 2 theta expressed in terms of cos because the answer that we have to prove is expressed in terms of cos so cos 2 theta is going to be 2 cos square theta minus 1 so instead of cos 2 theta I'm writing 2 cos square theta minus 1 so I have expressed cos 2 theta as cos square theta now the next one sine 2 theta is going to be we have seen 2 sine theta cos theta so this is going to be 2 sine theta cos theta so we have expressed both sine theta and cos 2 theta and sine 2 theta bro broken down as in the previous sums so double angle half angle rule now if you multiply the cos theta with the cos square theta we are going to get 2 cos cos theta cos square theta is cos cubed theta minus cos theta into minus 1 is going to be cos theta so we have multiplied cos theta with 2 cos square theta and cos theta with minus 1 we get this cos theta into 2 sin theta cos theta is going to be 2 sin square theta cos theta so we are going to get 2 sin square theta and cos theta so now we get 2 cos cubed theta minus cos theta minus 2 now we have sin square here but we need only cos here so we have to change the identity of sine square so what can we do how can we change sine square into cos square so we need to look for an identity and we have the basic identity here so the basic identity that we see here is that sine square can be written as 1 minus cos square so from the basic identity here so if we do the sum using the basic identity we can change it uh, let me write the cos theta first it will be more convenient so sine square theta can be written as 1 minus cos square theta from the basic identity I have changed the identity so this is 2 cos cubed theta minus cos theta minus 2 cos theta into 1 is 2 cos theta and minus 2 cos theta into minus cos theta is minus into minus is plus 2 cos cubed theta now the final line the final line is 4 cos cube theta minus 3 cos theta let's see whether we have 4 cos cube theta 2 cos cube theta plus 2 cos cube theta is equals to 4 cos cube theta minus cos theta minus 2 cos theta is minus 3 cos theta therefore the left hand side is equal to the right hand side we have proved this